Charged in the hit and run crash that killed a 13 year old girl, this young man was already facing possible jail time. Now we've learned he's also accused of sex crimes involving a child. I just believe your client at this time is absolutely completely out of control and he's a danger to society. We're glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6 on this Friday. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. Earlier this week, we told you 19-year-old Gavin Kassab of Commerce Township was put on house arrest for his alleged part in that fatal Wald Lake accident. Tonight, no more GPS tether. He's behind bars, having been picked up yesterday by police in a different case. And those charges are startling. Aggravated child sexually abusive activity and associated computer crimes. We bring in Rod Maloney live tonight in West Bloomfield with our exclusive new information on the story. Rod. Yeah, Devin, you know, to give you some perspective here, the accident where Piper Carruthers died happened on March 22nd in Wald Lake, and police say it was a police chase and that Gavin Kassab was actually broadcasting that chase live on social media. And yet, a mere five days before that, West Broomfield police had gone to Kassab's home, had served search warrants, took his phones and his computer in a case that he's now charged with involving felonious sex with a child. Gavin Anthony Kassab, The 19-year-old appeared in not one but two different video felony arraignments this morning. Oakland County Prosecutor Mark Keist revealing. The allegations are that when the defendant was 18 years old, he enticed a minor to perform a sexual act, and then he disseminated that, that sexual act because he videotaped it, Judge. He disseminated the video. West Bloomfield Deputy Police Chief Kurt Lawson telling Local 4 the victim's family brought the case to his department back in early March. They had alleged that they had been harassed over a series of months and that they had been given illicit photos, illicit videos over electronic devices. The judge entered a not guilty plea ordered Kassab held in a $750,000 cash only bond after West Bloomfield Police Detective Michael Kozemchek testified. Mr. Kassab has shown um, repeatedly through his reckless and negligent behaviors that he has zero regard for anyone else and poses a significant danger to the safety of the public. A probable cause conference as well as the police. Just minutes later, he appeared in yet another video conference before Oakland County Magistrate Andra Richardson. Kassab faced arraignment for new manslaughter with a motor vehicle and reckless driving causing death charges, added to the other felony fleeing and eluding death resulting charges already pending. Magistrate Richardson increased the then quarter of a million dollar cash bond to $750,000 cash, telling Kassab's attorney, I just believe your client at this time is absolutely completely out of control and he's a danger to society. And so Kassab now sits in the Oakland County Jail tonight on a 100 and make that a $1.5 million cash bond that he has to be able to make if he wants to get out before his hearings, which are due up in the next month or so. Back to you. Well, Rod, I imagine for the judges, the timing of these cases so close together, that's a big issue, right? Yeah, in fact, it was troubling to Judge Richardson and Magistrate Richardson. I'll tell you what she said. She said he was allowed to go on a family vacation, and then he picks up another case while waiting to go on vacation. And while he's on vacation, the victim's family is planning their daughter's funeral. Mm. That bothered her. Wow. Yeah, no doubt. All right, Rod.